Hey, it's Yusuf with Luxury Report. So, over my right shoulder is the 2019 Subaru 8.6. Wait, that, that wasn't right. Uh, it's the 2019 Toyota FRS. Well, I, that's not right either. Uh, hold on. Oh, 2019 GT86. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. So obviously the 8.6 has been around for a while. Hasn't really been through any dramatic changes on the outside, but for me, that's fine. It perfectly proportioned. It's a great looking, small, sporty, rear-wheel drive two-door coupe. What more can you really ask for? Um, taillights look good, love the new spoiler. Always been a fan of the rear diffuser. But yeah, on the outside, to me, it looks perfect. Let's go ahead and check out the inside real quick. So this is the interior of the 86. It's probably as sparse and spartan as you can make an interior, but it's an 86. It's not really meant to call to you like a Mercedes. Um, so for pure driving satisfaction, it's perfect. The seats are nice, comfortable, beautifully supportive. Driving position is spot on. Steering feel is nothing short of sublime. Gauges are perfect for where they are. This one thankfully comes with the six feet manual, drives wonderful. Kind of like the retro throwback to the Circuit City head unit. Um, that's really my only qualm on the interior. But yeah, so that's the interior of the 2019 Toyota GT86. So one of the major complaints on this car is it's underpowered. The fact of the matter is, nowadays with traffic, it really isn't. Uh, I, for once in my life, is not going to be sarcastic. I've been driving this majority of the morning and afternoon now and could not go above 40 due to traffic or 70 on the highway. So, would 400 horsepower be nice? Yeah, of course. I think everything needs 400 horsepower. Would you use all 400 horsepower 90% of the time you're driving it? Probably not. Um, again, I'm probably in the minority here thinking the car is just perfect the way it is. It, rides beautifully, it handles beautifully, it's quick for what it is, it's efficient. Um, bravo for Toyota making the 8.6. It sells in absurdly low numbers. It's probably a loss leader for the brand, but they made it. Very few people buy it. Hopefully they'll continue making it, because um, I for one love it. So yeah, we'll have the review up on luxuryreports.net shortly. Talk to you guys soon.